I'm Dave and uh, Dave McMillan and Frederick Moray from Joby Restaurant. Today we're cooking lobster pelmeni. Hello. So pelmeni is kind of like a Russian tortellini. First step is we're gonna boil this lobster. We're gonna give it the little sacrificial incision. It is more humane. There we go. And we'll take this sweet creature and boil him for a few minutes. It's actually good not to cook the lobster too much because like if it's a little bit under, it's gonna mix it in the stuffing. It's gonna help like bind, you know? So now we're gonna make the dough. Flour. Huevos. A little bit of salt, water. I feel the dough and the palmeni is a little bit more delicate. This is basically kind of a pasta dough. And then we're gonna let it sit for half an hour. So I'm throwing the lobster into an ice bath. The lobster in the ice bath just stops the cooking. I'm just gonna cut it in like small dices, roughly chopped. If you don't like lobster, you could use shrimp. Ham. Ham. Dried porcini mushrooms. Just pork, pork and mushrooms. Very good, dices of bacon with that. Kale. See, that's the meat of a two and a half pound lobster. So when you eat a lobster roll, that's why there's not that much in it. Okay, so putting a bit of butter in here. We're building the sauce broth. Make sure there's no rubber bands in there too. Something it's worth to keep your fire always like super hot for lobster. Don't want it to uh, boil slowly, you know? Three cloves of garlic, some tarragon. That was the oil that was supposed to go there. All right. Paprika, not for taste, but just to keep that red hue to the sauce. A knife tip of cayenne, or a smidgen. And black pepper. When I make this sauce at home, I like to add a spoon or two of ketchup in it. You cook what, it off. Ketchup? Water. The point with the water is like it just dissolves everything that you have in the bottom, all the scorchings or like all the sugars. All the ketchup you didn't put in, but you can put. This juice right now on its own is delicious, but we're gonna work this sauce. Fred's gonna add cream. Then there's also whatever was left in the, the from the lobster. It's not super appealing sometimes. People are freaked out by it. If you are, don't use it. But it's full of juice. When it's uh, reduced by half, you can just strain it. So the lobster sauce, the cream is strained, it's reducing. We're gonna add the carrot juice to it, and we're gonna move on to the filling. Lobster, pork, garlic, more tarragon. One egg, and one yolk. Some chives too, the salt from the recipe, some black pepper, and some calvados. Generally, a lot of the really good classic recipes are based from the protein that you're using and the things that are around it. Calvados is made from apples, right? So it all makes sense, really. Where you catch lobsters, there would there is generally always apples, there's always carrots, there's always onions, there's always celery, you know? You find a, a fish, like a cold water fish, like halibut, sometimes it's made with like pepper rad, you know? Like, anchovies, pepper, sweated, olive oil, and to me it just feels wrong, 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 wrong. Oysters with lemon is always the weirdest one. Where there are oysters, there are no lemons. Oysters with cider vinegar, it's totally good. Now that those rested, half an hour, an hour, I think it should make around 40 to 50 pelmeni. Yeah, so this is in Joe Beef Surviving the Apocalypse, the new book. We didn't want to write a second book, so we did write a second book, but kind of on our terms. We wanted to write a book more or less about where we were now in our careers. Cooking might have defined us in our 20s and 30s, but as we're older with many kids and uh, we've discovered that we have other interests, you know, we're into spending time at home now. We're into exploring the Quebec countryside in a way that we couldn't when we were working 90 hours a week inside the restaurants for most of our careers. This book is about Quebec, the outdoors, oddities and pretty things that we see in our province. And yes, it's a dark time, and yes, it will help you get prepared for the apocalypse. This is a country dish. Pilmeni, you know, would be made from one household to the next. 
Some would like them thicker, some would like them paper thin, you know. A little bit of filling. So I'm gonna use water to seal it. At home I would just use spit. I also, uh, what I would do is I would let them rest a little bit, you know, I like the, the weld to take effect. I'm just double checking the boil and making sure they don't stick to the bottom. If they did stick to the bottom, I would take this device and kind of nudge them. You take them out until they're ready. You know, it's the same for a steak. I don't trust this like witchcraft science of this, like some thermometer, barely. The best is you cut a little bit under. Is it okay? Yeah, perfect. You send it out, you know. Sour cream. I'm happy with that. That's pretty. So it tastes good, tastes like pork, tastes like lobster, tastes like carrot juice. The thing is about stuffed, mm. stuffed dough, is that you generally, it's kind of a crowd pleaser, it makes people really happy, it makes children really happy. I feel like you're working a little bit for the mm. customer. So good.